Hello everyone hope this video will finds you all in a good health myself Dr Parth and today i am going to teach you about a urinometer instrument this particular instrument is used for measurement of specific gravity of the urine this urinometer is a example of or one of the type of hydrometer right all right now this is the diagram showing you a urinometer that can be asked in your practical exam in the viva right or it can be asked in the mcq as well so this is the urinometer the bottom is having the black colored mark right all right now you might have question that what is specific gravity urinometer used for measurement of specific gravity but what is it so friends specific gravity is a relative mass density right in simple word it's a relative mass density and specific gravity of fluid or urine it depend upon the solute that is present in the solution right it depend upon the solute so scientifically specific gravity is a comparison of density of urine against the density of distilled water we are comparing it with a distilled water right at particular temperature specific gravity of distilled water is 1.0 it's a 1 right now normal specific gravity of urine is 1.003 to 1.030 that is the normal range it can be asked in mcq however your specific gravity of urine might change according to your hydration status right and normal specific gravity of urine is related to urea and sodium it is because of urea and sodium right now specific gravity of urine measures the concentric ability of a kidney so you can get idea about tubular function of your kidney right so specific gravity of urine increases as the solute concentration increase in the urine the specific gravity of urine is inversely related to the temperature right it is directly related to solute solute but inversely related to temperature right now which are the causes of increased specific gravity of urine so obviously the causes are where your solute concentration is increases so first example is diabetes mellitus in which you have the glucose in the urine right second important cause is nephrotic syndrome in which you have the protein urea means presence of protein in the urine so it can increase the specific gravity the third important cause is a fever in which temporary specific gravity is increased and finally the another cause of increased specific gravity is a dehydration because of less water drinking all right now exactly opposite which can be the causes of decrease in the specific gravity of urine so the specific gravity decreases in case where the solute is less and the water is more so the example is diabetes insipidus then second example is chronic renal failure in which the concentric ability of a tubules is totally lost and that's why Uh, you have the decrease specific gravity and finally excessive water drinking can decrease the specific gravity all right now we will see the urinometer method for the specific gravity measurement how you will use the urinometer so it is totally based on buoyancy principle it this principle says that it's the ability of fluid to exert an upward thrust on the body when it is placed in it now we will see the method in the six step So first of all friends you have to fill the measuring cylinder with a urine at least 30 to 50 ml urine is required then you gently have to put the urinometer in the urine and allow it to float freely then urinometer you have to precautious that urinometer should not touch the side or bottom of the cylinder and now you have to take the reading of specific gravity on the scale the scale is provided you have to take reading at lowest point of meniscus at the urine surface now take out the urinometer take the reading and no immediately note the temperature of urine with a thermometer so here you can see that we have filled the cylinder with a urine at least 30 to 50 ml urine is filled and we have put the urinometer in the fluid and now you can see that it float very freely and you have to take the reading right so this is the method all right now when the specific gravity of urine means solute is increases the upward thrust on the solution is increase and so your urinometer is pushed up and there will be high specific gravity 
exactly opposite whenever the specific gravity is less solute is less the urinometer will sink down so that is the principle of urinometer use right now how will you check the accuracy of urinometer how accuracy is check so it is check with distilled water you have to measure the specific gravity of distilled water which should be 1 right at the calibrated temperature here the calibrated temperature word is important because you have to correct the specific gravity if your urinary if your urine temperature and calibrated temperature is not match if there is a discrepancy then you have to correct for the temperature now how will you correct it so specific gravity measurement corrected for the difference between the urinary temperature and calibrated temperature how will you correct it so for getting correction you have to add 0 0.001 to your reading if you have the 3 degree temperature urinary temperature above the calibrated temperature and if your temperature is 3 degree below then you have to deduct the 0 0.001 so if the temperature is high you have to add 0 0.001 all right now how will you correct the specific gravity for the dilution suppose sometime what happen your urine is urine amount is very less 5 to 10 ml then you can dilute the urine and then you have to take the specific gravity reading but you have to take care that the last two figure of your specific gravity should be multiplied by dilutional factor all right finally how will you correct the specific gravity for the glycosuria and proteinuria sometimes you want to nullify the effect of glycosuria or proteinuria so it is done to exactly check the concentric ability of a urine you want to nullify this both effect so in that case you have to subtract or deduct 0 0.003 for presence of every each one gram of protein per deciliter in the urine and for the glucose presence you have to deduct 0 0.004 0 0.004 deducted for each one gram of glucose per deciliter of urine all right now this is very important viva question what do you mean by isosthene urea so friends isosthene urea means your specific gravity of urine is fixed at a 1.010 due to loss of concentric ability of the tubule so, so fixed specific gravity means isosthene urea it is seen in crf hope you have enjoyed this video and like share and subscribe my channel thank you very much take care and bye bye thank you